Today we will see how to install Clojure and create your first project. For Clojure you need a working Java installation. The easiest way to manage it is using IntelliJ IDEA. We download the Community Edition. When the download is complete, we can follow the installation procedure. When the installation has finished, we can start IntelliJ IDEA. The default installation of IntelliJ IDEA is not enough to start a Clojure project. We would miss the REPL. Cursive is a common plugin for IntelliJ IDEA that offers a complete development environment for Clojure. To install it, we go under Plugin and search for Cursive. To install it, we just have to press Install. We restart the IDE. Cursive is free for non-commercial projects. Now we can start our first Clojure project. We can see that there is an option Clojure and we will use Lanigan, which is a common tool to manage and build Clojure projects. We call it first project. The conventions want that the name of a project does not contain uppercase letters. We use the SDK proposed by IntelliJ IDEA. Now we can create the project. Cursive is free, but you have to register a license. On the official site, you go under Get a License, Non-Commercial, you type your name and your email address, and you conclude the order. In the end, you should have received an email with the license. You have to copy it. Then, in IntelliJ IDEA, click on the hamburger, Help, register cursive and pass the content of the license. In the end, you can verify that the installation was successful by starting the REPL. Right-click on the project name, run REPL for first project. When the REPL has started, we can type closure expression in the text area below. Then either we press Ctrl Enter or we put the cursor at the end of the expression. And when we type enter, we can see that uh, the expression is evaluated. Usually, you don't type directly expression in the text area. You send command from your current file. In the project, there is already a closure file under src first project core.clj. We can see in the bottom that the REPL is already in the current namespace. We can send the definition of the function pressing Right click of the mouse, REPL, send def and foo. We can see that the definition was evaluated and it returned a reference to the function. Then we can try to execute it. I call foo with argument 42. Then I can use the right click again or otherwise myusk alt p and we can see that the expression was sent to the REPL and got evaluated. The result 42 hello world is the body of the function. Print an the argument and then a word. One could also download just the jar of closure and run it from the command line. You would get the REPL with whom one could interact. But uh, one usually does not work that way. The most common approach is to create a project and start a REPL in it. Type closure expression in a file and send them interactively. For today this is all, let me know in the comment if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe.